And it is Wednesday, and that means we're doing some cooking around here. When it's chilly outside, I've got some chili inside. I've got a Texas style uh, beef chunk chili. Instead of ground beef, Texans like to make it with beef chunks. I'm also adding in some butternut squash for a little sweetness, but let me show you how I'm putting all this together. I showed you how I browned the beef chunks, first of all. I sauteed some onions and green peppers. I'm gonna put the beef back in with all the juices. That's gonna get all mixed together. Then some uh, canned tomatoes, some fire roasted tomatoes, some diced tomatoes with garlic, little tomato sauce is gonna go in there that's gonna make up the sauce. And also a little bit of tomato paste for some richness. Uh, we're gonna mix that up really good. And then this is the point where I like to put the spices in before I put the other ingredients. I really want to incorporate all the spices, which of course includes uh, a regular old chili powder. I don't think you have to get too fancy with that. Uh, this is an ancho chili powder. It can add a little bit of heat to it. I didn't use too much. Uh, this is paprika. It's gonna go in. All this is getting mixed in. Some cumin, some garlic powder. These are probably all things that you have in your house already. This is Mexican oregano. It's a little sweeter than Greek oregano that I put in almost everything. So I like to use the Mexican oregano in my chili. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it good. And this is an interesting ingredient that goes in. This is corn flour. This is the uh, flour that uh, tamales are made out of. Uh, so this is gonna be the kind of the thickener for it all. So corn flour also going in. Give it a good mix. Try to keep most of it in the pan. And then we're gonna put in some kidney beans. We're gonna put in some pinto beans. And all of these sauces, the juices that the beans come in, all add to the composition of the chili flavor. We'll throw that guy back in. Uh, I'd like to put, this is uh, chipotle chili. This is really where the heat lives, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in. If I was at home, I'd put it all in. Uh, some corn on the cob, some roasted corn on the cob goes in. So look at all these flavors that you're gonna get in here, all mixed together with some sliced black olives. And here's the really unusual ingredient, the butternut squash that I steamed first to get the cooking started on it. And then I'm gonna put it in here now like this. This adds a little sweetness, a little bit of texture to it all. So all of this, I'm gonna, you know, this gets a really, really good mix. Don't forget that one dark beer goes in here. Anna, with all that Guinness that she's with out there today, yeah. that a Guinness would be really good here, but this is a dark Modella uh, that I'm putting in today. So mix it all really, really, really well. And then this is gonna go on the stove for uh, not, a, not a high heat, uh, medium heat, and then simmer for about an hour and a half. And when that is done, you wind up with just the most incredible mixture of this Texas beef chili with butternut squash. Look how beautiful that looks and smells amazing. A perfect consistency. The beef is melt in your mouth. The butternut squash is melt in your mouth. All the other ingredients melt in your mouth. Maybe you like a little shredded cheddar cheese in there. Maybe you like a little onion. Uh, but this will keep you warm all autumn and winter long. We've got the recipe up online. You can get it by scanning the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone. You can go to wgntv.com slash deancooks, or we automatically send out the recipes every week. You don't have to do nothing. 
if you text the word COOKS to 97999. I'm